What's going on YouTube? My name is Robert. Today we're going to do a day in the life video of a run for arbitrage Airbnb host from the Midwest. I usually have my beautiful wife sleeping right next to me, but she's actually behind the camera. She's going to film everything I do today, so let's go. So the mornings are pretty laid back for me. I mean, I don't really have anything I, I need to get done in a day. Obviously, I have my critical pass, and I keep this whiteboard behind me to just help me get everything organized and keep it sort of on track. That's one thing about self-employment. Being your own boss, you have to have a structure to your day. That helps me a lot. For those of you guys who are just curious on like what how to structure your time, I can go into more depth about that. The first thing I usually do when I start my day, after I obviously like brush my teeth and stuff is like check cryptocurrency. At this level here it dropped down to 102 and it bottomed out. So I placed a 49 Litecoin buy order at 102.40 and I'm hoping the price will go down to 102.40 today. It'll get filled and we'll see a nice reversal. So uh, for those of you guys who want to know more about that, you know, I've never really talked about it. I do talk about the Airbnb aspect of everything on my channel. So what I essentially do with rental arbitrage is I find a property on the market that's for rent or it's for sale and I pitch the landlord and I have their permission to host on Airbnb. For those of you guys who don't know what Airbnb is, it's a massive home sharing platform. I'm essentially just hosting and managing my own hotel out of a house that I don't own. It sounds crazy, but it works. So for right now, what I'm going to do, I sit here and I dedicate an hour of my day to brainstorming and creating ideas for my YouTube channel. And I'm going to sit here just look at the trucks a little bit, go in my zone. My AirPods are essential for, for that, so I'm going to get these in. And next step after this little session is the gym. So I usually like to focus and I have a lot of things I need to get done that I do early in the morning. That way I don't, you know, wait and procrastinate. So everything I need to do, like critical tasks, I try to knock them out as soon as possible. So I'm going to sit here. I have a few emails to send. I'm also going to follow up with the president of the apartment complex that I was mentioning in one of my previous videos for those of you guys who want to go check that out. So that's what I like to do early on. I like to get that out of the way. And from here, we're going to go work out. It's 10.04. I'm just wrapping up here. And for breakfast, I usually have like a triple zero yogurt, like no fat, no calories, but a lot of protein. Just keeping it light. I'm getting ready for the gym. And really quickly, I'm going to show you guys what I deal with as an Airbnb host and as a short-term rental host. So we have a guest coming today. Here's his uh, booking. It's four nights, 3.59. This is a home away, this is a home away guest. And I'm just going to message him real quick, you know, let him know that uh, the place will be ready at 4 o'clock for check-in. I'll just see what his estimate time of arrival is. Uh, that's just a little bit of the stuff that goes in on the managing side of being an Airbnb host. Like on a day like this, structure is very important. You want to make sure that you have everything planned out the night before or the day before, just so that you're organized and you're getting everything done punctually. Uh, when we get back from the gym, I have to go take my check to the landlord. So today is the 31st and we're gonna go drop off the rent. Alright guys, we just made it to the gym. I usually hit legs every single day because, I mean, why not? You gotta strengthen those legs. Strong legs means you got a strong body. So we're gonna hit some leg presses over here. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about rental arbitrage. For those of you guys who don't really know what it is, um, I was mentioning it earlier in uh, my introduction. You just you find a landlord who has a property on the market for rent, and you list it on Airbnb. It works because you're able to profit the difference of what rent costs. So if rent costs, let's say, 800 bucks a month, and you're making two grand a month, you get to profit that difference. That's just like a very vague um, breakdown of what it is. And I've been doing this since August 2018, and I've had massive success with it. So I really think that I need to share this with more people. And I think it's getting more popular just as time goes on. I really enjoy it, and it gives me a lot of free time to do what I want on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, my days are pretty chill. I start them off, get a lot of work done, and I hit the gym. Today's actually push day. I'll be hitting chest and tries. But I said I gotta warm up these legs. I hit legs every single day, just squatting and deadlift because those are overall like the best strength workouts. So what I really love about rental arbitrage is that 
you're able to scale it to like 50 listings, 100 listings. I mean, the list is endless. There's people doing it like up to like 100 plus listings are making over 100 grand a month. And that's the best thing about this business model is because for right now, not many people know that it exists. Like people are just now learning about Airbnb as it is. And if you throw in the equation that like you're getting into a market that isn't saturated yet, that's gonna really help you and boost your beginning stages. You think about e-commerce, I feel like e-commerce, like the wave's already gone. People have already like done drop shipping and now you just see it being marketed everywhere. People try to sell courses and stuff, but the truth of the matter is like Airbnb still works. For those of you guys that like want to get into something that hasn't been exposed yet, this is definitely a market you guys need to consider. So I think that's the best thing about it. I share a lot of value on my channel regarding Airbnb. And I think you guys can learn a lot. Just check out those videos. You hear people doing drop shipping, you hear people doing e-commerce, and these are very saturated markets. So if you just think about entering something that's new that no one's done before, uh, just consider Airbnb. I think it's gonna be the new wave for sure. Healthy lifestyle is very important for anybody that just wants to be better in life. I think it's important to exercise every single day. I usually do about 45 minutes of weight training and then I'll hit this bad boy for like 10 minutes, do some cardio. Uh, that's pretty much my workout. So if you guys really want to level up in life, really want to get better, you better work out. You better just make sure your body is getting the attention it deserves. You only got one body. So for all you guys out there that really want to know what might help you get to the next level, it's definitely hitting the gym. So after the gym, uh, like I said before, I got to meet the landlord, give him his rent. And then I'll be filming a YouTube video and that'll kind of be like my next thing I do in the day. So after I hit the gym, I usually like will film and edit. And then I have something uploaded for about 3 to 5 p.m., depending on the day that I'm uploading. And that's pretty much how it goes. So from here, I will see you guys uh, back at my office. I'll be getting the check for the landlord. I just got done working out. Like I said before, health is very important. I think everyone should treat it very seriously. If you're not doing some kind of physical activity in the day, then you're doing it wrong. Uh, right now, I'm on the way to the bank. I'm going to order some checks for my LLC, for my business and I'm gonna drop rent off for my landlord. So that's kind of like what I got going on right now. I know you guys have seen a little bit of what goes on, goes on in my day, and I definitely think uh, it's very important to keep in mind that without a structure, without a proper schedule, you're not gonna get anything done. A lot of people wish they had all the freedom to do whatever they want, you know, like they wish they didn't have to go to work, they wish they didn't have to have a job and you know answer to somebody else. But the sad reality is that most people do need somebody to answer to. Without a structured day, people are gonna be completely lost. Like, you're gonna spend all day on the couch, you're gonna spend all day watching Netflix or watching Game of Thrones or something, you're not gonna be doing anything productive. All right guys, here we are. We're at the Airbnb. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little walkthrough. I know some of you guys have already seen this place, but since it's a day in the life, I'm just gonna show you. I was here cleaning earlier. There's not much to do. We got everything cleaned pretty quickly. There was no point in filming that whole process right now. I'm just gonna give you guys a little run through, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. The guest is checking in soon, so we have the table, the coasters. As soon as we walk in, the kitchen is clean. I'm leaving a set of keys right here, so I'll leave the set of keys for the guest. Uh, we have the living room, the living area. Everything looks good. I'm just gonna show you guys the bedrooms real quick. Make sure everything is spotless. That is the key here when you are hosting. Just make sure everything is spotless. Make sure this toilet is all clean, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure there's nothing, no grime, nothing. So uh, it's pretty simple, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy my day in the life. This is all there is to it. Uh, there's not much going on right now. I'm going to go home and work on some stuff. Uh, the bedroom obviously looks really good. Keeping it nice and cool in here. And here is the two twins. This aquarium is pretty self-sustainable. We don't have to clean it very often. I think it's been two weeks and you guys can see it looks pretty clean. So I'm just going to get to it. You guys just stay tuned.
I finally made it back to my office and what I'm gonna do now, I have a video that I filmed earlier today. I'm gonna chop it up and then get it uploaded on YouTube, hopefully by 5.30. It is 4.05 p.m. right now and I think I'll be able to get this done within the next hour or so. It usually takes me about an hour to edit these vids. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. And then I'm gonna break out my Facebook group for you guys and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what's going on in there. Actually, we can do that right now. Okay, this is my Facebook group and it's called Every Master Throne to Arbitrage. You guys are more than welcome to go check it out. Uh, there's plenty of stuff going on in here and plenty of questions being answered by other hosts if I'm not answering them. So guys, I would recommend if you guys just want to learn more about rental arbitrage or Airbnb in general, come join this Facebook group. Uh, it's free, there's nothing to it. You guys just come in here and see if you can interact with anybody else. There's a ton of hosts in this group right now, so I think it'd be great for you guys that are wanting to learn more about how to make money with Airbnb. It is currently 7.06. I started editing this video at 4.05, as you guys all know, so three hours later, that is what it takes for me to edit one of these videos. So, I mean, if you just show them here, everything's ready. I have the title ready. I have uh, the description ready and the tags. Thumbnail is uploaded right here. Actually, let me get the thumbnail up. So, let me get the thumbnail, and then the video is ready to go live. So, that should do it. Alright, guys, the video is going live right now. So, I just hit publish, and that is that. The video is up. I've done everything I have to do today. What I like to do, I like just to skate. It's just like a really big hobby of mine. And really quick, I'm going to break something down for you guys. Uh, I showed you this morning that I had the $359 payment from Homeway. So I'm going to go into this and break down like what I get to keep out of this. So you guys can see here, this is a Homeaway payments. They just emailed me and uh, the payment amount was $370 and they took a transaction fee for $11 and they took a credit card transaction fee, or two transaction fees. So total payout of $358.95 going to my bank account. And that's how easy it is, guys. If you want to learn more about this, definitely uh, watch my videos. First of all, I do provide a lot of value on my channel, and I think you know, this is just like a small payment, right? Three fifty-eight. That's like one booking, one guest. I get payments of up to twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars per one guest. So you guys should definitely look into this business model if it's something you guys want to do, just to create income on the side, or just want to replace your full-time income. Obviously, you know, it took me a while to get to where I'm at. It didn't just happen overnight. But I definitely think you guys have a lot to learn. And from here on out, I'm just going to grab my board really quickly. I'm going to bump some hills. Well YouTube, thank you so much for staying tuned. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Obviously things are like a little bit more interesting sometimes, but this is just a typical day. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And for those of you guys who are more interested, like I said, go check out my Facebook group. If you watched this all the way through, you guys better smash the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.